issue that essentially dominated the entirety of last year's legislative session. And today a bill aimed at trans youth in the state came up again. This one known as the Sports and Spaces Act focused on transgender participation in athletic programs, but it failed to muster enough support on the floor to advance. 1011's John Grinvalds has more on the vote and reaction following it. It was one of the most hotly anticipated bills of the legislative session, kicked out of committee just yesterday. But after failing a crucial vote, there's no path forward this year for LB 575. Facing a filibuster, Sports and Spaces needed 33 votes to carry on. Yes, and a repeat. It fell short by two. Disappointed, of course. We knew it was going to be a tough haul. Tears of joy from some after an emotional day on the floor. The bill would have essentially barred transgender youth from participating in athletics and would have required students to use bathrooms and locker rooms corresponding to the gender they were assigned at birth. Trans people are not something to be afraid of, that we are loving, giving, caring human beings and that we have a lot to offer to society. The Republican holdouts, Senator Merv Reapy and Tom Brandt. I've got a lot of questions. They raised concerns over problems of enforcement, and Reapy says there's no reason to act now. As they say on the farm, it's a hammer looking for a nail. I support girls' sports, I support, but I don't think we've got a problem to solve. Kouth says it's about being proactive and preventing girls from having to compete with boys. But some senators say it wasted crucial time in the twilight hours of the session. We know the reason this was brought was to discriminate against transgender youth. And if we just keep spinning our wheels on something like this, we're not focusing on the things that actually matter. Kouth says though the bill died on the floor this year, she'll be back next year with some adjustments. We have some issues that I'm intending to correct in the next version of the bill. Uh, we'll work to make sure that some of the questions that people raised were our address. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.